WB. The WB Thursday continues with an all new family affair. Okay, help me out, guys. I'm a little lost. My uncle's second wife is suing him for extra child support for the surrogate son he fathered with her ex-best friend, and he can't pay for Jake's physical therapy. Now he's in the hospital, so I want to send a card, but I'm not sure what relation he is. If Jake's my uncle's stepson, what does that make me? Impossible to understand and extremely depressing. I'll just sign it and hang in there. Love, Remy. <laughs> oh, my God. Hottie alert, Liam Curtis is in the house. I think he's looking at you, sissy. No, he's not. Is he? He is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's so stuck up. I'm glad he didn't come over here. Hey, sissy. Could I talk to you for a second? Uh, sure. I wonder what he wants to talk to her about. Probably our mood swings. Um, you went to the acting Shakespeare seminar, right? Yeah. It turns out wherefore art thou Romeo doesn't mean where are you, it means why are you. I mean, <laughs> weird, huh? Um, I was wondering if, uh, maybe I could get your notes from it. Sure. And, um, I was wondering if, uh, you were going out with anybody right now? Me? Oh, no. I mean, uh, no. Great. Um, so, maybe we could go sometime. Yeah, some time would be great. What do you think they're saying? Yo, girl, let's take a ride in my hoopty and get some fried cheese and jalapeno poppers. <laughs> of all the Mac Daddies, Liam, you are the Mac Daddiest. <laughs> I will also have a yogurt drink. <laughs> Here, draw a picture of yourself in a bathing suit. <laughs> Three. Two. All right, um, I'll call you and we'll figure out Friday night. Sounds great. <laughs> steel mill down the street. Let's get away from it. What you got there? You said that you'd take us out Friday if we got three gold stars in our reports. That's true. Uh, my favorite animal by Buffy Davis. My favorite animal is a baby duck. Mine's a grizzly bear. Roar! If I may say so, sir, making a deal based on the three gold star standard was a classic sucker bet. At the Dovetail School, everybody gets three stars. I'm reliably informed that Dylan Showalter received three gold stars, and his favorite animal was a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, deal's a deal. Where do you want to go? The children have been scouring magazines for destinations which capture their fancy. Uh, Coney Island, Grimaldi's Pizza, 
Empire State Building. A giant gorilla lives on top of it. Three gold stars right there, sir. <laughs> Nathan's Hot Dog, Central Park Carousel, Tahiti. They have pretty beaches. And pretty women on the beaches. Uh, on the other hand, it's uh, 6,000 miles away. Is that farther than Brooklyn? Just a little bit. Oh, oh, here's a good idea. We'll go to Fire Company 86. It's a great ice cream parlor in an old uh, fire station. The building's 140 years old. That's as old as Mr. French. No, Master Jedi, you just make me feel that old. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I can't wait till Friday. Yay, ice cream. Yum, 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 yum. I'm sure you're in for a most enjoyable evening, sir. We're in for a most enjoyable evening. The twins and ice cream's a two-man job. Little by little, you're trying to kill me, aren't you? Did anything special happen to you today? Nope, nothing. Now ask me. Okay, how about you? Remember that student film I was in, Dis Capital, a hip hop manifesto? Yes, yes, I do. Well, Liam Curtis, this way cute sophomore who directed it, asked me out. And I'm sure you want me back by 11 o'clock, and I will, so it'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this just the two of you going out, like on a date? Uh huh. How awesome is that? Well, it might be like. 5% awesome, but don't you think you're a little young for that? Too young? Hmm, well, let me think. No. Well, have you ever been on a real date before? No. So this would be your first date? Yeah, so? So, that's kind of a big deal. Not really. Well, it was a big deal for me, and I was two years older than you are, and I just think it's something that you're not quite ready for. Why? Because one-on-one -on -one dating leads to other one-on-one -on -one activities. There, I said it. You're getting into a weird area, Uncle Bill. It's just a date. It's not that big a deal. Well, if it's not that big a deal, it doesn't matter if you don't go. I'm not saying you can't see Liam. I mean, he can come over here and hang out, and you obviously see him at school, but until you're a little older, no one-on-one -on -one dates. Sorry. You should run away. I swear to God, you should just run away. I did run away. I ran away from Ohio to here. I can't go any farther east without hitting ocean. It's just anthropology, really. All the way back to caveman times, the adults have tried to keep the girls at home in the cave and away from any cute cave boys. Yeah, see, and it was up to us to get out of the cave somehow. Otherwise, our tribes would have died off and humanity would have croaked. And there never would have been SpongeBob. Maybe you can talk to your uncle. Tell him that you were grown up enough to get here by yourself from Ohio, and you're grown up enough to go to a really hard high school. You can be trusted. I'd just lie to him. Hold up, what? Lie to him? Look, you've been on group dates before, so your uncle's obviously cool with that, right? Yeah. So tell him a bunch of us are going out together. Then, as soon as we're out of the house, the rest of us ditch, and you and Liam will be on your date, alone. Sissy doesn't like it when we go in her closet. I want something special for ice cream night. She got really mad when I put her stocking on my head so I'd look like a thumb. It's fantastic. Of course I'll tell you. Shut the door. I just need to be in a secure location. It worked out perfectly. He said yes right away. No, my uncle totally bought it. He thinks it's a group date. So you guys are picking me up here around 7. Then Liam and I are going off by ourselves. It'll be great. <laughs> Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Looks like I have to get my closet sprayed for runts. I'm a thump. <laughs> Who's Leo? Oh, you were listening too. All right. Look. You guys are gonna be my age before you know it. And you're gonna wanna do some things that Uncle Bill doesn't know about. Like flushing his cufflinks? <laughs> yeah. So sometimes you're going to let him think one thing while you really do something a little different. 
Won't that make him mad? Not if he doesn't know about it. So, I'll keep your secret if you keep mine. Okay? Yeah, you can do my algebra homework. <laughs> I'll inform Miss Sissy that the Algonquin round table is here. Won't you come in? A plague of teenagers has assembled in the foyer, sir. I'll summon Miss Sissy. Oh, hey, Mr. Davis. Hey, Chels. Hey, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm Sissy's uncle. Uh, and you must be Liam. I, I recognize you from your movie. Yeah, I think I gave people something to think about. Oh, yeah. Four-hour student film makes people think. <laughs> so, you guys ready? Where are you headed? Oh, the Marrakesh Parrot down in Tribeca. It's this really cool Moroccan cafe. You sit on the floor and eat with your hands. Throw in chewing with your mouth open. It's every meal with Buffy and Jody. <laughs> See you later. See you. Have fun. I did it. <laughs> oh, do you believe Miss Barbada is making us read Animal Farm? I mean, how seventh grade is that? No, hey, but she was in Playboy, you know. Oh, no way. Yeah. When? She was like 20. Fred and Barbada, she's like ancient. What was it? Like Women of the American Revolution? Turn on, throwing tea in the Boston Harbor. <laughs> Turn offs, wooden tea. Taxation without representation. <laughs> Uncles who don't let you date. But we took care of that one. Ladies first. Hi, and girls second. <laughs> See ya. Charm. Give him a break. He just ate his body weight and marshmallow fluff. Well, way to go, guys. We just knocked off a whole hooking ladder. Mm. Know what happens now? Uh, we send the children out to be steam cleaned. Nope. This. Ladies and gents, let's have a three alarm cheer for the newest members of Fire Company 86. These folks just put away a hooking ladder. Woo! Say a few words, French. If I might express a preference, sir, mine would be not to wear a tiny pantomime fire hat. Save it for a sissy, Mr. French. Give it to her when she gets home from her date with Liam. Well, she's not exactly on a date. She went out with a whole group of kids. Okay. You almost gave away the secret. What secret is that? Buffy, Jody. What secret? She made us swear not to tell you. Okay. And it's very important to keep your promises. Did she make you swear not to tell Mr. French? No. Nicely played, sir. Now then, Lamikins. Why didn't you tell Mr. French? all about your little secret. For Showtimes, you getting for breakfast. Beef Friday night. There's your table, there's your bread. Scott will be out with your figs. This is so cool. It's like having dinner on IG Magini. I know, it's like we're sitting on pillows. Who thought that up? 
And these curtains are just so cool, and these cool little tables. And the people here, it's like they all just walked out of InStyle. Okay, we don't have to look at them. to a Moroccan restaurant, you get a Moroccan dancer. I guess you just gotta go with the flow. Yeah. The flow around here seems kind of snugly. Remember when Josh said, girl second, and pushed you in the taxi? That was funny. <laughs> I know. It was really cool of all those guys to help us sneak out. Yeah, it was really great of them. I wonder where they all ended up going. I think Max said they were going to go hang out at Washington Square Park. Very good, sir. What do you think his name is? Ed. Bob. Bluey. Mr. Parrot Man. How about Stripey? Scooby Doo. Boppy. Ding Dong. Mr. Seed Eater. Beaky. Dick Cheney. <laughs> I was just looking for somebody I know. I am somebody you know, Bill. Oh my gosh, Charisse. <laughs> I, I, I thought you moved to Paris. Well, that's when I was writing for Vogue. I'm freelancing for women's fitness now, so I moved back about a month ago. Oh, well, it's, uh, it's great to run into you. Wait, um, why don't I give you my number and we can get caught up? Oh, sure. Great. Hi, how you doing? Sissy! Kitchen! Sissy! 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 We got fire hands at the ice cream place. I already broke mine. This is Mr. French's. Yes, everyone's a winner. Come on, children, way past your bedtime. Uh, make sure you wash them off or they'll stick to their beds and we'll never get them out. A consummation devoutly to be wished. So, how was your evening? That was good. Listen, maybe I imagined it, but didn't we agree that you're not old enough to date? No, you said I'm not old enough to date. I didn't agree. Yeah, the point is... But you... it turns out you were right. What? I mean, I've seen all the movies in health class, and I know how everything works. Happy to hear it. But, I don't know, I guess the whole... One on one, here we are on a date thing makes me kind of uh. weirded out. So, not ready. Well, good. That's good. But that's only part of it. You told me that you were going out with a big group tonight, and I happen to know. Hey, waiting on popcorn. That they're all in the study. You're missing Summer Catch. Freddie Prince Jr. is balancing the pangs of romance with his desire to ride his big league talent out of a one-horse town. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Mr. D. So you guys were together the whole time? Well, not the whole time, because um, Liam and I got into one cab and everybody else got into a different one, and they all got stuck in Chinatown because there was a parade. So Liam and I finally gave up and went to Washington Square because I knew we'd all meet up there. And then it got kind of cold, so here we are watching Freddie Prince Jr. lock horns with his girlfriend's snobbish father. It's very compelling. 
Different camps, huh? It happens. Parade in Chinatown. They have them. And you're sticking with that story? I am. What about the too young for dating part? Yeah, I'm sticking with that too. All right, no further questions. Oh, good. So was she actually out on a date with the boys, huh? Yeah, I think she was. And her punishment? She's watching a Freddie Prince Jr. movie. Positively medieval. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think she figured this one out on her own, and I don't want to muck that up with a lot of drama. Nicely judged, sir. And the next time she steps out of line, you'll have this little anvil to drop on her head. It's like chess, French. Always stay a couple of moves ahead. <laughs> On the WB Friday, after years raising a family, it's still hard to tell who the grown-ups are. Did you tell those boys they could play this video game? Yeah, why? The evil one. On the WB Friday, after an all-new What I Like About You, it's the WB premiere of Grounded for Life. I tell you everything about our kids. You didn't tell me that. Then, Reba's ex has a secret. He wants you back, Reba. How is it? What? And it's another all-new Grounded for Life. You're getting a job. <laughs> oh, my God, you're serious. Grounded for Life premieres before and after Reba on the WB Friday night.